walking shore in the number eight jra jaguar the man who dictated the pace in the early days of unofficial practice and tried to take the pole back from yet another jaguar well, here's the team leader the man responsible for this fabulous jaguar assault on mount panorama and i don't think from the times we've seen uh, ahead of him he's got too much difficulties worrying about being on the front row here come the boss even in Atlanta. The right-hander and now winding his way up Mount Panorama. Tom Walkingshaw making a determined bid this year for the European Touring Car Championship. And in particular, an outright win here in the James Hardy 1000 tomorrow. And listen to that Jaguar snarl its way to the top of the mountain. He's giving it plenty again. You can hear the engine. It's not blipping. He's put his foot down. He's knowing, he knows where he wants to go. Here he is, slide, using every bit of the road and not being afraid to hound it through here. It's particularly nerving there. It's very easy to make a mistake, but he's giving it its all. He's showing us that uh, here's one Englishman that's not afraid oh. of this Aussie mountain. Oh, checking the halfway time at uh, Castro, the top of the mountain. This could be very, very sensational. We take race cam again. We're riding with Tom Walkingshaw for the James Hardy 1000 tomorrow. Look at him at work, the steering wheel. Just thought about going up a gear, but decided to feather it. Only natural to hold the gear change if you can. Pick up a fraction of a second. There he goes snappy change the car sitting nice you can hear the overrun of the engine when it just hits some of the bumps not hurting the engine but nevertheless not quite a hundred percent traction on Conrad so walking sure makes the ride for pole spot as he comes down beneath the bridge now into the gears try and slow it another one one more into the left-hander, the chequered flag at the ready, and Super Scott, Tom Walkingshaw, takes the chequered flag. Here's the time, and will this mean the pole for Tom Walkingshaw? 2, 18.822. Tom Walkingshaw at 2, 18, 822, better yesterday's time by almost a second. Yeah, it would have been quicker, but with new brake pads in it, and they should come in, but they didn't come in, and I had terrible brake fade at the end of the straight in the first lap. And I lost a lot of time along here, so I would reckon we could get another half second out of the thing. 